Hi everyone, today we're going to look at loans using the Desmos calculator. Specifically, we're looking at fixed rate loans. Our fixed rate loans will have equal monthly payments for the entirety of the loan and the interest rate for the loan will not change. Our formula consists of a bunch of variables. PMT stands for the monthly payment. P is the present value, which we can also say is the amount of the loan. R is the interest rate, which we will give as a decimal place. N will be the number of payments per year, which will be 12 because this is monthly. And then T is the time in years, so however many years that we will have this loan. We'll take a few examples. The first one, I'll say let's do a five-year loan for $18,000 at 4%. The thought here is looking like at a car loan. So I put all of the variables into our formula. So we have 18,000 times 0 0.04 over 12 divided by, I have one minus parentheses one plus 0 0.04 over 12, close the parentheses to the exponent negative 12 times five. Let's get started with our calculation. We put in 18,000. Then I need parentheses for 0 0.04 divided by 12. Close those parentheses. Divide by. Now I'm in the denominator, which is why I don't have to have parentheses. It already knows that we've moved to the denominator. I have one minus parentheses, one plus 0 0.04 divided by 12. Close those parentheses. Now we're going to add an exponent. And the exponent, I do need another set of parentheses. That way it knows to multiply these numbers together before it applies the exponent. So I'm going to hit negative 12 and then times 5 to represent our 5 years. Okay, This gives us a value 331.497. Thinking this is money, we would say this payment would be $331.50. Let's look at another example. This time we're going to do a 30-year loan for $225,000 at 2.85%. In our formula, we have 225,000 times 0 0.0285 divided by 12. All of that's divided by 1 minus parentheses 1 plus 0 0.0285 divided by 12. And then I take that sum, raise it to the negative 12 times 30. In Desmos, we'll plug in 225,000 times 0 0.0285 divided by 12 close the parentheses, hit divide by. I can see I'm in the denominator and I like to visually look at it to make sure that I'm keeping in the right order and that I have everything where I want it to be. I do one minus parentheses, one plus 0 0.0285 divided by 12, close the parentheses. Now I go to hit my exponent button. With the exponent, remember again we need parentheses, negative 12 times 30. Close those parentheses. This gives us a payment of $930.50 per month. For our last example, we'll solve for P. Our current formula is solved for the payment. We're going to move the R over N and the 1 minus 1 plus r over n to the negative nt over to the left, which means we're dividing. I took that and I put parentheses all around it and I moved it over to the left hand side so you can see the big parentheses underneath the payment. Let's try this. A two year loan with payments of $130 per month at 9% interest. So we're going to write down that we have 130 divided by parentheses 0 0.09 over 12 divided by 1 minus parentheses 1 plus 0 0.09 over 12 close parentheses to the negative 12 times 2 and then close parentheses again. 30 divided by and we have our big parentheses to represent the fraction that's in the denominator. I'm going to put parentheses around 0 0.09 divided by 12 because that makes it a unit together it's an, a number and then divided by, so now I have a new fraction, I have 1 minus parentheses 1 plus 0 0.09 divided by 12, 
close parentheses to the exponent, and we remember with exponents we're using parentheses, this is negative 12 times 2. We'll close that parenthesis for the exponent. We'll close the parenthesis that represents the denominator. And it says the amount that we could borrow is $2,845.59. Again, let's say what this represents. This says if we are willing to pay $130 a month for two years at 9% interest, we could borrow $2,845.59. Hope that's helpful.